Good evening, dear friends, colleagues, Minister, Mr. Assistant Secretary, Ambassadors, um, Excellencies, uh, especially recognizing the presence of uh, His Excellency uh, Mr. Jacek Chaputovic, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, of uh, Poland, and His Excellency Mr. Richard Albright, U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary for State uh, for the Bureau of Population, Refugees and Migration, who uh, honor us with our presence. Really uh, delighted to uh, have this opportunity to, to join uh, all of you uh, on this occasion. Uh, I would like to uh, warmly welcome all participants to the uh, Warsaw Process Working Group on Humanitarian and Refugee Issues. We are delighted that you uh, were able to join us for what we hope will be a very productive series of discussions on such, an important, so, such important topics as access to education, child protection, uh, in the context of the refugee and humanitarian crisis in the Middle East. Uh, before uh, making my uh, own remarks, uh, in that regard, I would like to invite uh, our very distinguished uh, guests and co-hosts Mr. Chaputovic and uh, Mr. Albright uh, to address you. Let me first of all uh, thank Poland and the United States for inviting Brazil to host this uh, working group, which is a unique opportunity to uh, contribute to this uh, ever challenging endeavor of helping foster a brighter future for the Middle East, a region for which Brazil cares so much. I uh, would like once more to uh, uh, to reiterate how thankful we are for uh, uh, the presence of um, all of you uh, in this opportunity uh, here tonight uh, and to uh, bring uh, the, uh, the attention and uh, the prestige of your countries to, uh, to these uh, discussions. Um, I would like to um, uh, praise and commend very uh, uh, emphatically the, uh, the effort articulated about one year ago uh, at the Warsaw Conference to promote the future of peace and security for the Middle East, which I had the opportunity uh, to attend. Um, it was very uh, early in, in my tenure, very early in the uh, uh, current administration in Brazil. And um, uh, I realized back then uh, how convergent uh, this uh, endeavor was with uh, our attempt here in Brazil to bring uh, new ideas, uh, fresh perspectives, uh, and decisive action to our international uh, engagement, which are in line with uh, the, the deep transformations that we are trying to bring about uh, in Brazil. We uh, uh, are committed and uh, we think the way ahead is through uh, creative uh, action, uh, bold processes, uh, which are at the same time realistic and ambitious as the Warsaw uh, process clearly uh, is. This process is already attracting a lot of attention worldwide. I think it's uh, proving that it has uh, the ability, uh, the capacity to uh, uh, help uh, in getting closer to solutions that we didn't think would be possible uh, before. The, um, uh, we, we, Brazil uh, sure that we can contribute to, uh, to these debates, uh, as you see uh, from, the, uh, from the remarks by um, the, our co-chairs, uh, how uh, Brazil, Poland and the United States in this case can bring different perspectives but totally convergent to, uh, to these issues and which uh, will of course be enriched by contributions of uh, all uh, your countries. Uh, I'm pretty sure that after the discussions tomorrow we'll have uh, maybe new doubts, maybe new, uh, uh, maybe new uh, questions, but certainly new uh, ideas to deal with uh, those pressing issues. The um, comprehensive approach and cross-regional participation in the Warsaw process uh, have indeed allowed us uh, to tackle not only the complexity of the new challenges confronting the Middle East, but also the imperative of finding uh, new ways to overcome them, as I was saying. With this uh, solution-oriented approach, the uh, Warsaw process has been able to acknowledge 
the evolving geopolitical reality in the Middle East uh, to strengthen uh, old partnerships and forge new ones with the uh, common aim of fostering security and enhancing regional cooperation. The Warsaw process, in this sense, is totally compatible with uh, Brazil's vision uh, for what we're sure it can be one day, maybe sooner than we think, uh, more peaceful, secure, and uh, prosperous Middle East. The uh, fulfillment of this vision requires a concerted approach by like-minded countries to fight threats and drivers of instability, old and new. We must take decisive action against disruptors, be them state or non-state uh, actors. Uh, I'm convinced that we have to uh, address issues as they are, as they present themselves in reality, and not as is uh, sometimes the case, or was sometimes the case in the past, just by reading from manuals of uh, uh, international politics, or just by uh, repeating uh, uh, older uh, declarations and, uh, and communiques for, from past moments uh, in history. Uh, the uh, enemies of peace and security do not hesitate to cause turmoil in that region for the sake of hegemonic ambitions or for uh, uh, their uh, aims of uh, uh, promoting violence as a mean towards ideology or ideology as a pretext for violence. We must uh, also work together cooperatively to overcome the main humanitarian and refugee issues affecting millions of individuals in Syria, Iraq, and Yemen, which, is, which bring us, brings us closer to uh, the topic of uh, this working group. Uh, just let me mention, please, that uh, if, uh, as is the case, uh, the Middle East is the, represents the largest the crisis uh, in terms of refugees in the world, unfortunately, we have close to our border uh, and inside Brazil and our neighboring countries, the second largest already uh, refugee crisis uh, in the history, in history, uh, due to uh, the uh, awful regime still in place in Venezuela. So we here, far away from the Middle East, we uh, are getting a much more, a much closer sense of uh, what uh, this situation is in the, in the Middle East. And uh, we hope, why not, that uh, solutions in one of those areas, since we live in a, uh, such an interconnected world, can help uh, with solutions in the other, in South America and in the Middle East. Dear friends, uh, regarding Syria, uh, please allow me to uh, also make a few specific remarks. This working group uh, is an opportunity to shed light on our common conviction that the only effective manner to address the tragic crisis in Syria is through political means. Brazil continues to support the negotiation process led by UN Special Envoy Ambassador Pedersen and hopes uh, that his effort uh, to bridge the uh, gaps between the parties will be matched by a similar commitment by all sides in order to forge a new democratic and prosperous Syria. Education is the backbone of any future process of reconstruction and the pillar of long-term security in the Middle East. There are 1.5 million school-aged Syrian refugee children living in Turkey, Jordan, and Lebanon, but nearly half of them do not have access to formal education. Host countries have taken general steps to increase enrollment, for example, uh, offering free public education to these children which is commendable, of course. However, barriers such as uh, child labor, enrollment requirements, language difficulties, and a lack of affordable transportation are keeping children out of the classroom in some of these countries. In 2019, nearly 2.1 million children were out of school, and a further 1.3 million were at risk of dropping out in Syria. We recall that Brazil has received uh, more than 3,000 Syrian refugees since the beginning of the conflict. We continue to offer humanitarian visas to those affected by the war so that they can find protection in our country. As refugees in Brazil, individuals affected by the conflict in Syria have access to all public services, including public education. Nonetheless, 
to ensure educational assistance of quality in situations of vulnerability remains a challenge. We count on different public institutions, international partners and civil society to help us improve the lives of refugees in our country. Uh, on Yemen, due to, due to the protected conflict, there are more than 3.3 million internally displaced persons in the country. In 2020, the conflict in Yemen will complete its sixth year. Throughout this period, its humanitarian consequences have escalated unceasingly, bringing us to what amounts to one of the worst humanitarian crises in the world. More than 24 million people in Yemen are in need of immediate humanitarian assistance, comprising roughly 80% of the country's population. After years of uh, military deadlock, important breakthroughs occurred at the talks held in Stockholm, but the implementation of the terms agreed upon has been marred by renewed skirmishes between the warring parties. In an effort to contribute to the uh, cessation of hostilities, Brazil agreed to deploy personnel to take part in the UN detachment constituted by the Security Council, charged with monitoring the situation on the ground. We regard, with regard to Iraq, Brazil is following with great concern the worrying developments in the country. Further escalation is to avoid at all costs, for it could have potentially devastating consequences, in particularly for the most vulnerable populations in the region. We are particularly concerned by the suspension in granting access, uh, access letters to humanitarian actors carrying out critical missions in support of Iraq's vulnerable people. In the past three months, aid deliveries throughout Iraq have slowed due to the discontinuation of previously agreed upon access uh, procedures, authorization procedures. Uh, in conclusion, uh, we have worked with uh, our partners from the US and Poland in this working group and uh, we're committed to keep this as an ongoing process to bring together countries, international organizations and civil society uh, with much knowledge uh, and experience on the humanitarian challenges in the Middle East. The emphasis on education and child protection is particularly important. It allows us to face today's most pressing humanitarian needs and the situation of most vulnerable groups, focusing on the reconstruction and peace building uh, tasks of the future. It connects, it connects the urgency of present needs with a longer term perspective on the fundamental human dimension implicated in bringing about sustainable peace. During the course of our discussions, we will be able to uh, uh, ponder on the challenges faced by our own region. As I mentioned, the uh, policies uh, uh, of the regime uh, in place in Venezuela have caused al almost already 5 million Venezuelans to leave their homeland. And in the near future, we in Latin America may well be confronted with uh, uh, more than 7 million people, uh, displaced people and, and refugees, uh, which amounts, by the way, to more than 20% of the population of Venezuela. Uh, uh, as you know, this uh, regional uh, crisis has affected Brazil. The government's response uh, was to set up a multi-stakeholder government-led task force named the uh, Operation Welcome, Operação Acolhida, which uh, uh, we're glad to, to see has become a reference worldwide in order to ensure assistance, protection, and opportunity to uh, Venezuelans who have crossed into our country as refugees, asylum seekers, or migrants. Uh, in the current phase of uh, Operation Welcome, Venezuelans uh, can choose to be part of our internal relocation program. This initiative boosts the uh, prospects of them finding jobs and increases their income by an average of 200%. A recent study has found out that 100% of children of participating households are enrolled in schools. Uh, those are a few of the uh, uh, figures and uh, practices that we think can be a part of the Brazilian contribution to the debate here so that the, uh, all the, uh, those uh, appalling uh, figures and data that I just spoke about can be addressed and uh, curbed in the near future. We are confident that bringing different perspectives and experiences together 
will contribute to finding innovative solutions to our collective work. I'm very thankful to all participants who have taken the time to be with us and who will upgrade our discussions. Uh, we think we should be confident and that we should uh, make this a moment of uh, 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 answering to this old uh, saying that uh, many heads uh, together they uh, are bigger than the uh, uh, sum of their parts. That our uh, collective work here will uh, certainly uh, make us uh, wiser and more capable of addressing uh, those issues, those pressing issues. Uh, it's great to uh, uh, have the opportunity to host you here, and uh, I would like to invite you to our welcome uh, cocktail here at uh, Itamalachi Palace. You will have the opportunity to enjoy a performance by the music group Alma Syria, Syrian Soul, which is formed by Syrian nationals who came to Brazil as refugees and have now acquired their Brazilian citizenship. Uh, I hope you have a pleasant evening and uh, look forward to seeing you upstairs. Thank you very much.